Good morning and welcome to North America Martyrs. Our opening song will be number 37, Holy, Holy, Holy. Number 37 in the music. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God, in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting on around the glassy sea. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee, which were ten are ten, evermore shall be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we love you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift you are faithful, offer you right and praiseworthy service. Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people saying, fear the Lord your God and keep throughout the days of your lives all his statutes and commandments which I enjoin on you and thus have long life. Hear then, Israel, and be careful to observe them, that you may grow and prosper the more, in keeping with the promise of the Lord, the God of your fathers, to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, 
the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. My strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior, you who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, the Levitical priests were many because they were prevented by death from remaining in office. But Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priests, to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests, but the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son, who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love him, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one, and there is no one other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbors yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You're not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, the uh, gospel is uh, clearly about love, the great commandment to love God with your whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. That's what directs our life as Christians, uh, to love God even above our family, even above our spouse, to show that love uh, day in and day out, and to uh, continue to uh, persevere in showing that love times it can be uh, difficult. Um, uh, For instance, uh, this past week I was uh, blessed to be called to uh, Leonard's house, uh, Leonard and Ramona Roberts' house. I've been to many times for dinner 
and uh, Ramona was uh, struggling with cancer for the last month. And uh, it's a love story between the two of them. It began in high school with a blind date, and uh, Leonard proposed soon after that. They were married that same year, just after senior year graduation. And then Ramona, later on that month, turned 18 years old, and uh, then 63 years of marriage, praise the Lord, amongst the longest in our, <clears throat> in our parish. We thank God for that faithfulness, <clears throat> the love <clears throat> that they showed. And Leonard Ramona always set up here, where uh, today uh, Leonard is joined with his daughter, his son, and his son-in-law. So um, our condolences are with you, Leonard. Continue to pray for you. Can't imagine uh, you're married longer than I've been alive. How hard that must be to um, lost your wife. But it was beautiful. Uh, of course, um, Ramona didn't want to trouble anyone, even the priest, uh, even though she had many priests that loved her and knew her very well because she was a housekeeper at St. Mary's downtown for almost 20 years. I think there was like eight priests at her funeral here on Friday. Uh, priests don't forget who feed them you know, and who take care of them. Never forget that. She was like a mother to many of us. And um, I was fortunate to be hired as a paint seminary and painting crew to paint their house. So um, did that about 35 years ago. But uh, yeah, last Sunday, I had known that, that Ramona was sick for a few weeks, just a couple weeks actually, when her daughter, uh, Rhonda, uh, told me um, just two weeks, three weeks ago now, two weeks ago. And so I came out to the house and uh, saw Ramona. I could tell she was, she would not long. And I was able to give her the anointing of the sick, the sacrament, and to give her uh, Holy Communion. In her case, it would be called viaticum, food for the journey, final journey, the way home from this world to heaven. Tiny piece. She had to take a drink of water beforehand, just gave her a little tiny piece of Jesus Christ uh, as she went to meet him. And um, so then uh, the next morning I woke up and I saw I had a call from Leonard, 12, like, 03. And I uh, listened to it and I was... Um, said prayer for her. I figured she died on the day of the resurrection, on Sunday, Sunday night. So it's the best day to die, I think. Um, it's um, it's uh, what our faith is all about, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So uh, we are called to love to love God with our whole heart, mind, and soul. And in this life, uh, we need to do that uh, every day. And you do do it. Uh, we do. We do. I have a great example of a way to love, and that's by uh, spending an hour in Eucharistic adoration. Uh, it's where we really encounter the Lord, and He speaks to us, and um, we can just pour out our heart to Him. And he will listen, and he will show us his his love and return in uh, in um, quiet and a peace in his presence. So the sheets are in the uh, narthex, and we're we're getting there. We're close to halfway uh, filled up, and as soon as we get all the sheets filled up with two people per hour, we'll begin our Monday to Friday. Uh, Eucharist adoration from 7 in the morning till 9 in the evening. So uh, if you don't know if you can manage it, ask your spouse, you know, honey, when, when would be a good time for me to be able to go and spend an hour with the Lord uh, Monday to Friday? And maybe uh, he or she would have a good idea. When we love the Lord, of course, it redounds and reflects upon our spouse and upon our children and family and the whole world. It's a better place. So we, we need that prayer, that lifeblood, that uh, daily prayer. 
The second reading today is just pretty beautiful. It talks about Jesus who uh, never uh, fails to intercede for those who come to him. And he never fails to save us uh, before the Father, take us to God the Father. And it, of course, he is the great high priest. And he, of course, is innocent, undefiled, holy. And his one sacrifice on the cross uh, sufficed for all time, for all ages, his death. But of course, the night before he died, he gave us a perpetual sacrifice of his body and blood and through the priest, who, as it says here, are beset with weaknesses, but nonetheless can offer the sacrifice in his name. When we pray, we pray in the person of Christ, in persona Christi. We pray in his name, in his very being, when we say, you know, this is my body. It's Jesus using the priest with his weaknesses to offer the sacrifice, the perpetual sacrifice, uh, the one sacrifice of Christ on the cross, but we once again offer that in the perpetual offering that he's given to us. So it's a great gift of love. And it's wonderful that people come to participate. I read a survey this week uh, in an article, and it's kind of just disheartening to say, but uh, 20 years ago in 1999, <clears throat> there were 70% of people in the country belonged to a church, either, of course, Christian or a temple or a mosque, uh, 70%. Now, in 2020, less than 50%, 47% belong to a church. And it also mentioned uh, people that come. Uh, 31% of adults come to church weekly, and 23% of young people come to a church. So those numbers are also going down. And one, one, one quote in there, it said, interviewing the person, he said, well, we don't feel a need to go to church. So... Boy, I think there's a mountain of need to go to church just to give thanks to God. We could never possibly repay him for all the blessings and gifts, mainly through Jesus Christ uh, laying down his life, dying out of love for each and every one of us. Uh, but the gifts he's given us uh, through the Holy Spirit, uh, the gifts the Lord has given us uh, just in our uh, lives, and in our families, and in our faith. Uh, we can't possibly thank God enough and worship him enough. So it's wonderful to be with uh, you all here each day, and uh, each Sunday, that is, and to celebrate this. But we love, we're called to love, and to be people of love, and be a light in the darkness, and to be, um, you know, ambassadors of Christ and to take this good news. So once again, um, you know, the second reading is so beautiful and it just uh, assures us, uh, it says here, Jesus is always able to save those who approach God through him since he lives forever to make intercession for them. So he is our Savior, he is our Lord, he is our friend, and we uh, just thank God for giving us Jesus as our intercessor and as our Savior and Redeemer, and uh, for giving us him in, in the Holy Eucharist, and that uh, Ramona, you know, near the end of her life, could also receive uh, Jesus as her final food, how many years they came to church worshiping the Lord here and other churches they belonged to before St. Mary's. And so we, uh, we pray to stay close to the Lord as well throughout our lives to, to the sacraments and to the Lord Jesus.
confess our faith, I believe in one God, Father Almighty. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. God from God. God. Begotten on me, not substantial with the Father. Through him all things are made, for us a minute, for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, which crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and life of the world to come. Amen. Coming together as brothers and sisters in Christ, we turn to our Heavenly Father with our prayers. For the church that it provide refuge and salvation to all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, that they hear the cry of the poor and oppressed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those seeking salvation in wealth and material things, that they find it rather in Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a growing love of God's little ones in the womb, in nursing homes or at death's door, that we might love them with the love of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen away, that they recognize that our Heavenly Father yearns for them to come home to his church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Donald Whalen, for whom this Mass is offered, and for our own Mass intentions, which we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, continue to bless us with the Holy Spirit. Help us to follow Christ, your Son. We ask these prayers in his name, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands to become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> Mister, this water one, come to share in the divinity of Christ, help himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash from iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself when was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, <clears throat> full of your glory, goes on in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse of the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. 
for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I give you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon on page 100 in the Missalette. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord.
Prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe, Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to today as your beloved children. We ask and intercede for us with your Son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, for all our families and loved ones, protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another, to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are a compassionate mother health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. <clears throat> Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always know love your Son, Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. We have All Souls Day, of course, coming up after All Saints Day. You can write the names of your deceased on this or on any of these sheets of paper and we'll pray for them whenever we pray All Souls Day Masses throughout the year. Or you can fill out the card in the pews with the All Souls Day uh, names on it too. Please stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. All Saints Day Masses are tonight at 5 p.m. and tomorrow at 6.40 a.m., 8 a.m., and 7 p.m. We will have a special All Souls Day Memorial Mass on Tuesday, November 2nd at 11 a.m. We will gather together to remember our dear family and friends, each by name, and with a candle brought up with the offertory. You are invited to a luncheon after Mass. Please call the parish office by Monday, November 1st, if you want to add someone to the prayer list and if you can attend and stay for lunch. All Souls Day Mass envelopes are located in the pews and at the Parish Information Center in the Narthex. There is a table set up in the narthex if you would like to sign up for a permanent adoration time slot. We need two people signed up for each time slot, Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., and Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. And happy Halloween. Our closing song, Now Thank We All Our God. Twenty-seven. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. O oh, may this gracious God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us. Preserve us in his grace and guide us in distress and free us from all sin till heaven we possess.